season's greetings. That would be the gayest way to start a video. Season's greetings. Click like and subscribe. And if you want to sign up for our emails and you want to be on Patreon and get all kinds of bonus material, feel free to... And for $75, we'll wish you a happy birthday. I guess that's a thing. I guess that's a thing people do that are famous. For like 75 bucks, you can get a personalized happy birthday greeting. Listen, if I fucking need your $75 and I'm Chuck Liddell or Tito Ortiz, um, I'm not paying you to wish me happy birthday. I might pay for sex. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I told the guy in the store that when we have sex, I pretend she's the character in Avatar. You know, because that's got to be a... You know, there's some weird fetishes out there. And uh, that would be strange, wanting to have sex with, like, an alien, demon, yeah. avatar thing. I got movie passes from a customer. And they were talking about, oh, you should go see avatar. I don't even know. Listen... I don't even know what's in the I don't even know what's in the theaters. But what we're doing is on this December rainy night, we're feeding all our cats. The nerd has to get in there with her Aquaman shorts, whatever them are. And so rain or shine. Just got back from the gym, got some half and half, got our supplies for Christmas which is basically stuff to eat and uh, people ask me what I plan on getting the nerd for Christmas and nothing what am I gonna give you for Christmas you get to fucking sleep with me right yeah. look at literally I mean like next to me you get to sleep next to me except for I sleep with my feet towards her head and she sleeps with uh, her head towards my feet because we're weird like that. I don't know why. I just don't feel like I want my head near the wall for some reason. Anyways, this has nothing to do with anything. So, moving forward. No, I was just thinking like Christmas. Like, you know, anytime I pay the rent, you know, you got to realize that for like a long time, a lot of my money went to drugs. So, anytime I pay the rent, I feel like that's a win, you know? Anytime I pay the rent earlier, we pay the rent early, it's a win, you know? So I kind of look at it like today with this economy, you're lucky to you're lucky to um, have a fucking roof over your head. You're lucky to have hot water. You know, ask somebody that spent a week or two in jail. You know, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll explain to you, but there's nothing better than being able to make coffee and having creamer, you know what I mean? And, you know, just little things like that. That was the best thing about being homeless or being in jail. It makes you appreciate things because you think in America that hot water and electricity is just, it's, you deserve it. And it's part of your life and this, that, and the other thing. It's really not. It's a luxury. It's not... When we take it, I took it for granted, you know. And I'll tell you, after being homeless, you know, like I told her, you know, we just don't sell it. You know, there's no real... We're not into, you know... I'm just not into gifts, you know. And my friend Veronica once said to me, Veronica Mixter, I'm going to give her credit. She's on my Facebook. Um... She said, if God wanted you to know Jesus' birthday, it would be in the Bible. And I thought that was pretty uh, profound. So, you know, I just enjoy the little things. You know, I've got fluid in my shoulder. You know, um, and shit like that. And I'm not taking pills. I've been fucking, I've hurt both my, my shoulders and my elbows and everything just fucking around at work and um worse than worse than ever and not once have i thought about pain pills or anything so you know i'm totally i'm totally uh happy with that you know and you know you're lucky to have a bed with blankets a place that man when you lose i lost my cats 
I lost guitars that I had since I was 15, 16 years old. I lost songs I wrote when I was in like ninth grade. I lost pic all the pictures I had of my brothers and everything. And, you know, there's nothing better than just having the shit that matters to you the most, you know? Having uh, the nerd, you know? That's my Christmas present. Okay, I'm gonna move here. Having the nerd here and she's been behaving herself for the most part, you know, is a. Uh, you know, what else are you going to want? What else could you want? You know what I mean? Other than for her to get up before 8. But that's, you know, that's, that's, that's tomorrow's, another, you know, tomorrow's another day. So for Christmas, we're just, I'm just going to be home or at the gym, you know, just, just another day. So I'm just fortunate enough to have a place to live and a roof over my head. And I've been home, I've slept in my car for months, you know, for over two months in California. There's Princess. I got two co-workers, I got them apartments over here, tra trailers over here, so everything has been, uh, you know, good, so I'm not, uh, I, I like, I like the Christmas season, I like the lights and all that stuff because um, I've got problems, but for the most part, um, I do like the, can I have a of it? She does. She always grabs a cigarette and, and smokes the whole thing. Right? <laughs> uh, you know, you're just lucky to have a house. You know, you're lucky to have someone that you know that you care about and is also sober and shit. You know, and I'm lucky that I'm not counting pills right now. I'm just grateful um, for so many things that. There's nothing you could really, there's nothing you could really, there's nothing you could buy me. You know what I mean? I was gonna pair glasses so I don't walk into shit like that. Mm -hmm. So, I like the season. I like the lights and all that shit, but I just think it's kind of inverted that you're buying people gifts mm -hmm. on somebody's birthday. Just like, you should have the attitude of gratitude every day. You should be grateful for how you live and the things you have every yeah. day. Yeah, like I said, this was my first, that was where I lived when I was, after I got done being homeless.